Ecuador's Highway 30 follows the ridge line of the majestic Pastaza Canyon. Between the two is a place called Pequeño Paraíso. What is Pequeño Paraíso? It's our little paradise. Pequeño Paraíso is also a place we love having people come in and stay, particularly the independent overlanders. We get a few interesting people here. Yeah. I was driving overland vehicles, tour vehicles, around South America. And as I was travelling around South America, I got into the birds. I'd set up a camera with a little trigger so when the hummingbird flew in front of the camera, it would take a photo. From there, I sort of progressed to videos. And I was just putting up videos to show people what I was doing. And it's very informal, but I was learning how to create the videos, how to use it, photo editing software and stuff. And it went from there. I am a bit of a gearhead, so I like the equipment and the technical side and quite often I spend more time just trying to achieve the technical side of things. I'm very cheap. I use these old, these um, little Canon EOS M mirrorless cameras. On the front of those, I use some very old um, vintage glass. I've got a collection of old vintage lenses which I use for my work. And then the rest is home built, like the lighting, um, some of the sound equipment and the mounts and the computerised equipment for time lapses and things like that. I used to be a software engineer, so I write my own code to do the filming as well. In a way. Microscope is a highlight thing and it's been adapted slightly so I can put a camera on top. And definitely being able to share what you can see through a microscope is pretty important as well. When you get a drop of water that's full of pond life and things like that, you can spend hours and hours just looking at one drop of water. It's really, really amazing. The time machine, well, it doesn't really travel in time, it speeds time up, I guess. So it's a time-lapse machine. It's just a box with a camera in it and a little thing called an Arduino, which is a tiny little programmable computer. And you can control the camera, tell it to take photos at given times, turn the lights on and off and things like that. I guess the main thing is you'll never stop learning about it. Every now and then it, you're absolutely astonished, you're surprised at what you see. You see something completely new. It doesn't happen that often, but when it does, yeah, you definitely, that makes it all worthwhile. That's the greatest part of it. There can be so much just in, like in our gardens here, there is so much to see. You could spend a lifetime exploring all the little bugs and all the, all the um, interactions between different species and everything. Ecuador is one of the most biodiverse places on the planet. If you keep your eyes open, you'll see a new species of insect every, every night. Just in this area, you can go up to the ridge line over there and look at one species of orchid and then go on the other side and look at a slightly different species of orchid that have been separated for a million years and started to diverge, just like what happens on the Galapagos Islands. So, I'm in a really fantastic place. Well, I guess I've always had that fascination, like, burning ants with magnifying glasses and, and feeding spiders to ants and all that sort of thing. And, but I did grow up. Like understanding the, the biodiversity that's in the jungle, that's something I never really realised. And I'm learning more and more every day, just here in our own, our own backyard, which is pretty cool. Now's a really exciting time because you can actually document this stuff yourself. You can actually go and take a camera and film something like the amazing stuff you used to see on TV. You can do that yourself and anyone can do it. That's the, that's the great thing. That's the magical thing that you can share it. Hopefully one day we'll be able to hit the road again and travel and just make those type of videos, which, which is the idea in the long term, hopefully. Yeah. 
Hello, my name is Mark. My name is Mark. Mark here, and welcome to Biodiversity Shorts. Well, mm, sorry about that. Anyway, cheers. Thanks for watching and um, please subscribe and all that good stuff and uh, we'll roll the credits. Thank <laughs> you.